What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we keep our live weight alive at home. So let's jump into it and I'll show you guys the setup. Okay, so this is what it is. It's basically a flow bin. And what I done was I took a, another meat crate and I created a sample with it. So yeah, so it's basically a flow bin and I cut a bit of the top off. I uh, don't want it too deep. So that is my, my sump basically. And what we got here is inside the, the flow bin. Sitting there, the back is the upflow pump. And what the upflow pump does is it pumps water up all the way through here, through the UV light. And what the UV light does is it kills basically all, all bacteria and you know all the nasty stuff. And then from there it flows down and then all the way down here back into the sump okay so in the first chamber we got a bit of foam over there or, or batting they call it and that's just to catch all the dirt and all the muck okay so the next chamber is bio balls and then the following chamber is just some shell and rocks that I collected from the beach and then the last chamber is some ceramic rings next chamber would be the pump for the skimmer let me show you guys the skimmer over here okay so that's our skimmer over there and I would regard this to be the most important thing of of the actual live well or the tank so what the skimmer does is it takes out all the the waste that's in the water so whatever the the live weight leaves off um, whatever waste products it leaves off the skimmer basically cleans all that out so what I've done recently was also I added the air stone into the skimmer and that just helps it skim a bit faster so when you load the tank with a lot of live bait uh, that air stone it does help so that's my air pump over there and yeah he's connected into the skimmer and if you guys can see that but he's sitting there at the bottom um, yeah, he's sitting there at the bottom creating more air bubbles. So let me open up its schema, you guys can see how that looks inside. Yeah, so that's the waste that's all coming out of the water. Okay, so what I got inside the flow bin is also a wave maker. And that wave maker helps create movement inside the water. Okay, so that's the live well set up over there and that's what we use to keep our live bait alive so as you know not every day is good conditions for fishing and you want to keep your live bait in top top condition and this is the way we do it we keep them in the flow bin and i think i could keep about maybe 50 live is decent sized live bait uh, in the flow bin okay so that's the part of keeping them alive at home let me move over to the van and now we transport the live bait to different fishing spots and now we keep them alive uh, inside the van basically okay so this is my inverter and I've got my inverter set up in front of the van so I opted to do to do this instead of putting inverter right at the back just for water damages or rust or anything like that so what the inverter does is it converts 12 volt over to 230 volt so you get uh, much stronger charges on your batteries quicker charges at least and you can run bigger air pumps and stuff uh, with the inverter basically okay so that's inverter let me power it up and then we can move over to the back and I'll show you how the back looks okay so this is my my live well So you guys could see on the previous videos this is where we keep our live weight in so what this is is basically a meat crate with a piece of perspex uh, bolted onto the top with a hatch open up the hatch for you guys all right and inside the hatch we have an air stone you guys can see that yeah so that is the actual live well that we keep the live bait in 
you know, when we're trans transporting it to different uh, fishing spots. And that air stone gets powered by an air pump, which is that one over there. Let me power that on. And that is connected to my plug over there. There we go. Yeah, so that is the, the live well setup that I got for transporting the live bait to different fishing spots. And it works a charm. You can keep quite a bit of, of live bait in there and you can keep them in tip top shape also. Alright guys, that's it from me. A quick video on how we keep our live bait alive at home. And uh, it's basically the flow bin. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cool.